Greetings to all. In this lecture, we will discuss the loss calculations as well as efficiency analysis of switched reluctance machine. The analysis with respect to the efficiency is same as induction machine. Here also we will see the copper losses with respect to the stator winding. There is no copper loss at the rotor side and core losses in both stator as well as rotor. But uh, while calculating the core losses, hysteresis and eddy current losses, we should not go ahead with stringent constant. We have to follow the method one what we have discussed during induction mission analysis that is loss per uh, kg. With respect to the operating flux densities, what will be the uh, losses per unit uh, per kg we can consider into mass will give the core losses and mechanical losses will be same that equations we will see once again. Here we can see the losses happening in switched reluctance machine, copper losses and core losses and mechanical losses and the advantage with respect to the switched reluctance machine will be there is no windings at the rotor side because of that reason there is no copper loss at the rotor side. And how to calculate the copper loss means that is simple power is equals to I square R loss and we have to consider the temperature effects and uh, AC resistance effect with respect to the skin effects and proximity effect also we have to consider and resistance is nothing but rho L by A and length of the total coil we have to calculate and resistivity of the material uh, copper we have to select and cross sectional area of the wire based upon that thing we can calculate the resistance and this resistance is nothing but at the atmospheric condition or ambient temperature if we will vary the temperature based upon the losses or operating temperature we have to calculate the copper loss and here ms is nothing but the number of uh, phases conducting at one particular uh, instant or complete how all number of phases we can consider here total number of phases. And then resistivity with respect to the different materials we can see here resistivity with respect to the aluminum resistivity with respect to the copper and resistivity with respect to some insulating materials also we can see here. And temperature coefficients also we can see with uh, different materials for copper temperature coefficient will be 0 0.0068. So, based upon the temperature coefficients and resistivity we have to calculate this copper losses. Here ms uh, is representing the number of phases and for core loss calculations we have to follow with respect to the method one what we have discussed in case of induction machine. Here the Stingman coefficients and other frequency terms will not come in the SRM that will give the some uh, wrong calculations. So, here power loss factor into mass we can uh, consider for uh, doing the core loss calculations. Uh, first identify the maximum operating flux uh, density points with respect to all regions. So, based upon let us say we are calculating the core loss with respect to the stator back iron what is the operating flux uh, density. Similarly, flux density at the stator pole based upon this flux density values we can calculate the loss per kg. Let us say flux density value 0.8 tesla. So, with respect to different frequencies we can uh, find the uh, losses here. So, here frequency representing from one uh, position of the rotor to next position what will be the uh, time required based on that time we can calculate frequency here. And for a grain oriented electric steel and non grain oriented electric steel what is the loss per uh, kg we can see in these two uh, images and the references also I have presented here. And mechanical losses and bearing losses also equations will be same the mechanical losses are equals to bearing losses plus windage losses the bearing loss depends upon the shaft speed, bearing type and properties of the lubricants and load on the bearing and windage losses with respect to the friction between the rotating surface and surrounding airs we can see the windage losses and the windage losses we can are divided into two types the loss with respect to the air gap region and loss with respect to the end, sur end uh, uh, region of the rotor and bearing loss equation is this one it is same for uh, induction machine as well as the switched reluctance machine 
and omega e represents the angular fre angular frequency of the shaft and uh, mu represents the frictional coefficient and f represents the load uh, acting on the bearing and d is nothing but inner diameter of the bearing and windage losses we can calculate based upon this equation this in detail about these equations already we have discussed and these are the windage losses equation how the uh, Reynolds number is uh, depends upon the windage losses or influence the windage losses and with respect to different uh, different Reynolds number and different uh, windage losses we will get it so that we have to analyze in detail and uh, torque coefficients uh, for uh, windage losses with respect to the ends of the rotor will be like this manner and here tip Reynolds number we have to consider so based upon the Reynolds number with this equation we can we can calculate the windage losses at the end of the rotor and stray load losses the losses with respect to the load current and its spatial harmonics caused in the windings and laminations and frame and etc with the losses which are not considered in the windage losses or copper losses and core losses the remaining losses we can consider it as stray load losses that are uh, in terms of percentage also we can consider for induction motor it will be 0 0.3 to 2 percent and for salient pole synchronous machines 0.1 to 2 percent the same for uh, switch reluctance machines also it will be in the range of 0.1 to 0 0.2 the stray load losses the detailed analysis with respect to the efficiency calculations we can see in this uh, literature the loss and efficiency calculations of switch reluctance machines using the uh, different analytical method here also the power loss coefficient they are calculating that power loss coefficient in terms of uh, loss per kg into mass we can consider so if we will go ahead with the hysteresis coefficients and stingement coefficients the analysis is uh, not accurate so for that thing some equations they have derived in this literature the eddy current losses we can see here this is the equation for eddy current losses and this is the equation for hysteresis losses here also the mass into the power loss coefficient will give the hysteresis losses if anyone is interested uh, they can go through this uh, literature to find the loss and efficiency analysis of switcher reluctance machine and now we will discuss the data sheets or uh, design specifications of the switcher reluctance machine this is one uh, switcher reluctance machine data sheet with respect to the K uh, E H U I application note and the advantage of switch reluctance machines we can see lower starting current and higher starting torque robustness simplicity and reliability and higher overload capability and excellent dynamic response all these are advantage and how it will work with respect to this data sheet we can see the efficiency curves as per the standards also we can see here these are the efficiency standards or efficiency constant torque efficiency curve and vary, uh, varying load efficiency curve with respect to the at the rated speed here output power and efficiency the blue color line representing the uh, system efficiency and red color line representing the motor efficiency the technical details with respect to the controller as well as motor we can see here rated voltage is 514 volts DC and insulation class we can see here and uh, working system uh, continuous work system S1 and S5 the duty we can say in this uh, with respect to the standard it will come in uh, S1 as well as S5 S1 represents the continuous uh, uh, load type and S5 represents the intermittent cycle work including the electric brake like in intermediate loads it will support with respect to the S5 standards and S1 standard for continuous loads supporting and protection level IP54 
what we have discussed with respect to the induction machine it will be same and overload capability 150 percent rated torque for less than 60 seconds and 200 percent rated torque for less than 30 seconds and 300 percent rated load torque rated torque for less than 15 seconds this is the overload capability so for example if we will apply the 300 percent rated load greater than 15 seconds then the machine will uh, not able to deliver that much torque and it may damage and temperature check and motor standard also we can see here the details about motor standards are given here ksm uh, is represents the product type and one represents the motor design sequence and 315 represents the uh, motor uh, size and height of the output uh, shaft axis and the remaining uh, details also we can see from th uh, this uh, data and this is the controller specifications as per this uh, designer and these are the controller technical parameters and same way with respect to the literature uh, as per the IEEE uh, explorer. So, this is another reference to design the 50 kilowatt switched reluctance machine. So, we can see the comparison of switched reluctance machine with IPMSM. So, what is the outer diameter stack uh, length and st shaft length and uh, straighter to rotor air gap and winding type and wire diameter etcetera we can see here and torque density and maximum efficiency and maximum output power and maximum power uh, speed range all those things we can see here. So, whatever the analytical equations we have discussed we can calculate for 50 kilowatt machine and we can verify with respect to this uh, uh, paper and same way we can see here different uh, details with respect to the prototype air gap and iron core material and wire diameter and number of turns slot fill factor and etcetera and different materials also uh, what type of materials used for this uh, designing this machine also we can see. So, this is the another uh, design for 60 kilowatt machines how the uh, what is the outer diameter and rotor outer diameter stack length and uh, torque, desilling voltage and start fill factor, iron loss, efficiency etcetera and these are the different type of materials used for motor construction. So, if anyone is interested they can uh, calculate with respect to the equations what we have discussed related to the SRM based on that thing they should uh, get the numbers approximately near to this uh, numbers given in these three literatures and this is specifications with respect to the 60 kilowatt motor. So, the data sheets with respect to the switched reluctance machine for high speeds where they can go through this literature and for uh, normal machines for 50 kilowatt we can they can see this literature and with respect to this uh, manufacturer application note they can go through this literature also. So, with this I am concluding this lecture. In this lecture we have discussed the uh, loss calculations and efficiency analysis of the switched reluctance machine and uh, the data sheets with respect to the switched reluctance machines. Thank you.